You know, as bad as regulations are here, we talk a lot about them. They could be worse. That is according to a European company that focuses on health and nutrition products that has decided to set up shop in the United States despite the FDA. Now, could most of us be missing a trend toward deregulation in this country that other businesses are actually betting their future on? Quality Nutrition Technology President Michael Eisenberg joins us now. Michael, good to see you. Thanks for being here. So you're, you're, it's a private company based in Belgium. What did you guys see in the U.S. that was so attractive? Oh, U.S. Uh, is the, by far the largest market and we have been at it, uh, making products, making sport nutrition products for over 20 years now. And we are, uh, sell, we are selling products in 33 countries, actually, United States. And you actually United. manufacture the products here in the United States? For the, for the U.S. market, we manufacture products in So you're creating in jobs in the U.S., which we thank you for. We're very, in this environment, we're very grateful to that. But uh, aren't you afraid of the FDA? Aren't you afraid of the, the, the regulatory power of the U.S. government? Actually not, because we have uh, experience. Europe is very, very uh, probably over, over very overregulated. Even the United more States. so than the United much, States. Much more than the United States, and we have experience uh, uh, with with the European laws and uh, very, very strict and stringent laws. So I think uh, we can we can handle it. Now John McCain, who is a Republican, by the way, we should emphasize, as most people know, has this thing called a Food Safety Modernization Act, which he is behind which would essentially regulate your products and other products similar to yours much more than they already are regulated, correct? Probably, yes. Whereas supplement, uh, the supplement side, I think we're a little bit uh, more freedom than, than what's going on right now with the food. Nevertheless, uh, you probably are going to be working with people that would lobby against oh. this particular act, right? Of course. You I wouldn't think, be. Yes, yes. All right. Yeah, is it conceivable? You know what's happening in the United States. You're based now in Los Angeles, Los right? That's where you're based. Do you see a movement, as, as we do here in Scoreboard, against regulations, as, as we see one against taxes? And could this be the beginning of a more liberalization of the American system in terms of fewer regulations and fewer taxes? Probably, yes. Are you looking forward to that of course, in terms of, course, of the sales yeah. of your products? Yes. It will, of course, it's, it, it will make it easier uh, to create more products when you have less regulations, of course. That. Now, where do you go from here with your own product line? We are sold in uh, today 900 select GNC stores, and we're looking forward to be represented and sold in, in all of their 4,500 4, stores. We also are presented in uh, Bodybuild.com. This is the largest retailer, uh, internet retailer, and we also work with, uh, with, with smaller companies. Now, did, did your operation take a big hit during, during the worst of the recession? Actually, we're growing. For some, for some reason, I, people, people like to take care of themselves, and uh, our industry seems to be less um, influenced by, uh, by, uh, by ec economic downfalls. So, so uh, even in the hardest economic times, people still people wanted see, their yes, supplements? Yes, of course. People, people like to, uh, like to keep, keep healthy, like to, keep, like to stay in shape. That's why we don't see a real hit in the, in the economy. And what are your plans for the future? Do you think going forward you are going to be hiring more American workers, expanding oh, cooperation? Definitely, definitely. We actually we were very surprised by our sales when we were when we started uh, started operation in uh, uh, February of, the, of this year. We were planning to have uh, two and a half, three million dollars in sales. Actually, we have we're looking at seven million dollars this uh, this year and hoping to double it next year. And is the United States still the best country in the world to do business? Definitely, definitely. There's, a, there's always American dream and still, still alive here because... Even uh, though you're a Belgian company, you're saying that it, this is a better place because, to do because, Yes, of course, because American public is more educated actually than, than anybody else in the world. You can't even imagine uh, in uh, countries like Russia or in the Far East, uh, it takes us a lot of time to educate people about protein, about supplements. Here, public is ready. Public is, uh, people, people know a lot more about supplements, and they use them on a much bigger scale than in Europe. And the regulatory apparatus is also less. Exactly, exactly. Good news. Michael Eisenberg, president of QNT America, and you can get this stuff just oh, about everywhere. Just about everywhere, yes. Right. yes. Thank you very much for being with us. Good to